Good afternoon. While we remain committed to Baltimore City action plan on homelessness and its vision that all our citizens deserve a place to call home, our attention must now turn to the critically important safety measures that we must take to respond to our current health crisis. People experiencing homelessness and others living in congregate environments are particularly vulnerable during this outbreak of COVID-19 as they do not have the same ability to self-isolate at home. It is critically important that our community develops and implement proactive strategies to reduce risk for those experiencing both sheltering and unsheltering homelessness. The Mayor's Office of Homeless Services has been working hard on strategies to prevent infections as much as possible and be prepared to respond quickly when they do occur. And now I have the Director of the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services, Jerry Ann Anthony, provide more details on the plan. Thank you, Mayor Young. Good afternoon. My name is Jerry Ann Anthony, and I'm the Director of the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services. Uh, during the City of Baltimore's most re recent point in time count, uh, there were approximately 2,300 neighbors experiencing an episode of homelessness. We suspect that this number may be higher um, and not account for people who may be couch surfing or experiencing a housing instability. Of those 2,300 neighbors counted uh, during our recent point in time count, roughly 2,000 of those individuals were housed in city funded shelters or other programs where there is congregate living. 30% of those individuals are over the age of 62 and have underlying health conditions. Over the course of the last two weeks, the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services has moved aggressively with our homeless service partners and public and private partners to implement a range of strategies um, and prevention mechanisms that we believe are, will be effective in supporting our neighbors who are at high risk of contracting communicable diseases and up, unable to self-isolate. To date, MOHS has done the following. With confirmation of the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in the city of Baltimore, our homeless outreach teams went from outreach and engagement to tactical operations. What that means for us is we are no longer going into encampments and engaging with individuals, but rather supporting them and ensuring that they have access to the vital things that they need to be able to sustain in their current environment. We have been going out three times a week, taking supplies, water, hand sanitizer, wipes, paper towels to support our neighbors who are living in encampments and unable or unwilling to enter shelter. We've implemented a hospital discharge process. So in partnership with the Baltimore City Health Department, the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services released interim guidance for all of our city hospitals to ensure that proactive assessments of housing statuses were occurring upon discharge. This prevents unsafe re-entry into congregate living environments and shelters. On Friday of last week, the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services released guidance to our city-funded emergency shelters on screenings to those individuals who may be residing in shelters who have symptoms and need to be screened for COVID-19. This process provides this this provides a process and resources for our city funded shelters to assess residents for symptoms consistent with COVID, allows them to consult with a healthcare provider and receive a referral for testing and be transported to an isolation site if needed. The city of Baltimore has secured isolation units in an undisclosed location for neighbors who reside in shelters and congregate living se settings and are either awaiting the results of a COVID-19 test or have tested positive and need to quarantine for 14 days. In addition, we are working with our homeless service providers and our city agencies uh, to develop a plan to create social distancing in our current emergency shelter settings. As many of you know, our homeless shelters are unable to practice social distancing at this time, as there are a lot of homeless neighbors who are seeking refuge in our shelters. As a result, we have worked with the city to secure an alternative location which would allow us to practice social distancing. Um, at this time, I wanna thank all of our providers who have come together and been extremely helpful 
in addressing this situation, who have been very responsive to our neighbors in need in assisting to ensure that everyone has what they need at the time. I want to thank Mayor Young and our sister agencies for all of the support that they have put into helping us to ensure that there was a plan and a process in place to address our homeless neighbors who are either asymptomatic or who require testing for COVID or require isolation uh, as, they, as they go through this period. Thank you, Jerry Ann, and your hard work and team over at MOHS for all you do on behalf of this vulnerable population in our city. Homeless service providers are on the front lines of ensuring that people can continue to access shelter and critical service each and every day. We want to thank all of the homeless service providers for their tireless dedication and commitment, especially our shelters, which are nonprofits and who continue to operate and provide services and shelter 24-7. Our day centers, we have several nonprofit partners who continue to operate daily meal programs. And our outreach teams, again, nonprofits, along with our own MOHS outreach teams, are out daily, ensuring that people experiencing unsheltered homelessness receive, re receive essential supplies. For those in our community that want to help make a difference, we encourage you to contribute to the Text to Give campaign. Again, that's text to give campaign. All contribution at this time will be quickly utilized to support COVID-19 emergency response efforts. Jerry Ann, please let people know how they can support this work. Thanks. To support this work, please text Journey Home, all together, all one word, to 50155. Again, that's Journey Home to 50155. Thank you. Uh, thank you, and please do your part to protect all of us by staying inside and maintaining social distancing practices. And I want to encourage the residents of Baltimore and let them know that this is a serious uh, epidemic that we're facing right now, and social distancing is required, and we're asking everyone to do that so we can slow the curve so that we can get out of this COVID-19 epidemic that we're in. So again, as much as you can, do your six feet apart, and if you're sick, stay home. We're asking you to stay home and quarantine yourself so that others in your family or your friends will not get the COVID-19. So again, thank you to all the residents that are doing their part to make sure that they do the social distancing. And we must remember that our homeless people and our homeless population need all the support and help they can get. So I'm asking the citizens to reach out to them and try to connect them to services if they don't know how to connect. And again, Jerry Ann, thank you and your team and all our service providers for all that you do to help our homeless people in the city of Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you.